Hi guys, welcome back again to my channel. Thank you so much for finding time once again. Karibuni sana. If you are a new subscriber, do subscribe to this channel, like and share. I will gladly appreciate. So today, I know I have been talking about bills so much, about raising the 10,000 shillings or maybe the 8K to get the uh, the bills for you guys to start. But I know there are so many people who are struggling to reach, um, maybe to save up. To reach at that level of eight thousand or eight or uh, ten thousand, so I wanted to just take you back huh, from where I started, because for me I didn't just wake up today and uh, started opening bills or selling bills. It was a process. So I want to talk to you guys who feel maybe that it's going to take you like a whole lifetime for you to save up and get that ten thousand or eight k. So I know most of us um we have different I can say budgets. Because some will be like uh, their budget will reach to buy a bill, some will not. So what do you do in that process? Because some of you have the, that passion, some of you have that, uh, I can say, you have that drive to do your own business, especially if you're uh, maybe in the Mtumba sector. So what I can say if you're that person, maybe budget yako in a summer 5,000 or maybe in a summer 2,000, maybe in a summer 3,000. What will you do with that 3K? Because you are not going to get a bill which is going to um, to buy. You're not going to buy a bill that is around 3K. There is no bill like that. Unless, unless you want to get a half bill of which for me, I don't have uh, those type of bills that uh, maybe range at around 6,000. No, I don't deal with that. Uh, I don't deal with such because I I think I had uh, bad past experiences from the bills that I used to take uh, back then. So I decided to range within eight and 10,000. So what actually uh, uh, happens if you have that type of maybe budget? So we are talking about the budget of uh, 3,000 Kenyan shillings. So if you have 3,000 Kenyan shillings, I believe all of you, Mukona market area, you have a market area, there's a certain day that you have to go kwa soko, ufanye hii, ufanye hii. So take your time. You know, just do your survey. Go around the market. See what these people are opening, the bills that they're opening. You know, and uh, uh, before even that, go around and even see or maybe ask around what will people like to buy. But I want to give you a key. I know most of you, maybe I tell you that ladies buy. Yes, they buy clothes, especially for them and for the kids. But I want you, if you have that 3,000 Kenyan shillings, or let's just say maybe 2,000 Kenyan shillings, you have that only, I want you to focus on the kids' types of clothes. And Asoko, pick the, the cameras that you can get. The kids' clothes, just take the kids' clothes. Because I'm telling you, nguo za watoto zikwana pesa. Those people, I have a client in Kakamega, her name is Beatrice, thank you so much for the support. She deals with purely babies, or I can just say children in general, and she's doing well. Even for those people who I don't even know, I'm telling you, you can give testimonies that kids' bills have uh, profits. So even for you, don't be discouraged because you cannot afford to take a full bill. This is what you're going to do. Take that budget that you have, 2000 or 3 k Go to the market. Usha fanya survey yako. Usha zunguko mona. This type of person anafungua maybe summer lights. The other one anafungua maybe shorts. The other one maybe anafungua dresses. You know, stay close to those people. Take their numbers. Tell them, when you open, please call me. Or mulize, maybe aneza sahau. When do you usually open? So that you yourself, you can take that time. You know, rauka mapema, go and take those clothes. You know, so go and pick uh, the clothes that uh, you, uh, the clothes that people are selling there at your own budget, but make sure you pick the cameras. You know something that when somebody sees an is an unwa at three hundred. You know at a kama mozi one fifty you can sell at three hundred. Oh, pata one fifty. You know that is how people grow. Please, usika kwa nyumba una jurumia. Ivy is always talking about bills. Minta wa ifikisha yo pesa lini. Please, guys, don't be discouraged because not all of us started by selling bills. Not even selling bills. We didn't even start by opening bills. For me, I gave my story. 
I was selling panties. In fact, kwanza nilikuwa natembeza panties, boxers, uh, ankle socks, hizi mpya. You know, that is where I started. Some have testimonies of uh, selling smokies with trolleys. Some have tes- testimonies of going to pick to gikomba, of which I did that. But maybe if I knew earlier that kids' clothes have very good profits, I would have ventured in that area. Um, kitambo sana. So if you have a budget of 2000, let me just give you maybe the list. Go for 3k. If you if you manage to get 3000 Kenyan shillings, please go to your market area. Don't even buy for me. Don't buy from me. If you see me I'm advertising, I'm opening this type of clothes because fair itakukula. You know, you are talking about a budget that is so tight. Atawezi you can't even squeeze in the transport fee there. Go to the next um market that you have the nearest market that you have pick clothes for kids yani angalia jirani yako anako na watoto warika gani you know chukua kitu yenye akiona kimuuzia hawezi kata you know start from there if you buy it at 150 and come and sell it at 300 you know you have taken your time maybe even transport ukakuja uka huu mtu haizi fika soko ukamuuzia start from there and you'll find yourself you're going to be so busy in the course of the week hata nguo zinaisha haraka unaenda kila siku you know, there are people who go to the market every day if not every day you can even find thrice a week so if you're that person who feels Ivy is always talking about bills, I don't have that capital to reach 10,000, my friend, please don't stay at home and feel pity or don't even pity yourself. Please take that money that you have, even if it is 1,000 Kenyan shillings, please. As long as that market you can walk with your legs, when you have to ya elfu moja, ukuja uzia watu nyoko karibu na we, please do it. That is how people start businesses. And let me tell you, please, if you have a child, if you're a mother, if you're a, uh, maybe a lady that has kids, if you're not married and you have kids, no problem. Please, don't take clothes that you... Unajiambele kwa ro, ata nisipouza, watutongo atava. Please don't have that mindset. That is where people go wrong. That is where people go wrong. For me, I used also to, to do that when I was selling, when I was picking at Eldoret and Gikomba. I'm taking the sizes, especially for me, actually, my customers to look na toshana karibu wote. So you'll find I'll pick clothes that I know if they don't buy, I will wear them. Please don't do that. That is how also people go down, especially those people who go to select. Please don't take the, the, the clothes that you just, you have that mindset that if they don't buy, my kids are going to wear out akomenda sara. Utakomenda sara kubwa sana because you waste time yako, you want to start a business and that will prove that you're not ready to do any business. So if you don't have that principle, auna hiyo nini, you don't have that discipline um to to uh, yani have that, you know, that drive to do something and do it with passion and do it seriously, please. Then you're going to waste. Just ukana hiyo tu elfu moja kama elfu mbili ama tatu ka tu tumie kwa biashara ingine. But if you have the you know the passion to do this business, I'm telling you you'll go to extra lens. I'm talking about business wise. You'll sacrifice, utajinyima, ufanye nini? at least you achieve that dream because let me tell you out here but not every person who started started with a glorious uh, a glorious uh, story you know even as some of these branches that people are opening it, it you know it is just a, okay to open a second branch it's very easy but you know like to maintain the first branch that you've opened it's quite hard because you know um you you are expected to do more from this because this is just like your baby amezaliwa umle mpaka umwachilia anze kutembea so if you if you are that person who's eyeing to be that one person who can have several branches you have to have principles Take risks also. I'm telling you, I was one person who was so afraid to take risks because you're hearing oh, stupid sinatokaje oh. But I was just telling myself, all these people I know, the big names, like in a Jane, like in a Anishonani um, Uga, like in a Grace, like in a Purity, all these big names that I'm hearing. Why are they in business over ten years, over five, kuendelea uh, years? You know. Why are why are they still there? It's because this business has money, and also also for them they can tell you they also have dead stock. 
kuna wale wanasemanga ati mtumba aishi hata hob kuna bills zenye they don't pay that is why you see some of the suppliers it reaches a time wanakuambia there is an offer on something because they want to remove those types of bills at least zipunguke zisonge you know that is why some of you when you call nakwambianga tell me if there are some bills i cannot i cannot just put there ikai because not it is not fast moving you know so i'll bring something that i know my customers this is what they buy you know most of the time so if you are that person i'm telling you if you are that one person who has you know got na your mentality you are not you are, you are not giving room to grow you are not giving you know how you pay chance to learn more things and let me tell you if you want to grow be an open minded person learn from others go back youtube today has a lot of stories about mtumba go and see uh, uh, somebody is uh, alipitia hivi this is what happened you know we have different mistakes that we've made in this industry or in this market or in this business so you can learn from our mistakes and don't go through that path so I was just uh, uh I was just talking to those people who don't have that capital uh to raise to get a bail. Please, I'm telling you today don't even take um, uh, mangoes a ladies, don't even take mangoes a men. Go for kids. Kids camera clothes. Take those phone numbers from those ladies that are opening those bills. Kuwa customers, wow. They will be you will be even taking yourself there. Wapigie unafungua mzigo next lean, you know. And let me tell you, mtu wa soko ni mtu wa soko haizi kosa kukata mzigo. So it means hata wewe stock yako uwezi kosa. So that is how people manage out here. And let me tell you, from there you will be able, if you are disciplined, you're going to be able to save and buy a bill for yourself. From there also from there also people uh, will be buying also you know you will be getting people for cameras to come and buy from you you know so that is how people start so if you're that person who doesn't have 5000 kenyan shillings for half bills or 6000 for half bills if you don't have even the 10000 you know don't even stress yourself my dear don't even stress yourself kuna a lot of options go for the market go and select your clothes start from the ground and go up because kuna mtu nye unless people are just privileged out here but from the stories for me from my mentors kwale watu ni mwana waki grow they started by selecting clothes and let me tell you when you select clothes when you start by selecting clothes that is where you know how these bills come out you know so even for me when i was selecting at eldorado and gikomba i was asking ni bill inaitwaje inatuangaje you know those type and, and and even from there i was i was getting one or two things from these people they were saying bills hazifana nangi zinatoka vile sa zingine poa sa zingine fair sa zingine ni mbaya you know so that is where you learn about the atmosphere about mtumba business so i hope if you're that person i've touched your heart and i hope that i've also given you a wake up call so, so that you guys i'm kenny tuko december tunaelekea december you guys tunaenda december the festive season of which any please just make good of these two remaining months i pray that god helps you upate all the good clients that you're going to buy those clothes from the market na kuja wauzie and from there you're going to see you're going to rise pole pole and please be very careful be very very careful um when you're starting because people will be like usipeane vitu na madeni you know don't befriend anyone kwa biashara please if you are that type of a person please don't waste your money because utanguka tu hivi at the first trial so guys thank you so much i hope i have not scared you but this this was just to encourage um all those people who have passion for mtumba but hawana pesa but please if you have if you can manage to raise the 3000 or 2000 it's going to be easier start from there and god will open a way so thank you so much guys and hey don't forget to Don't forget to tie. Please make sure you tie. Just say thank you to God. That is how our businesses grow. Thank you so much. Keep on subscribing. I will see you on the next video.